Okay, welcome. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Hidden Monkey Daily Update. This is um, October 20th, I believe, Monday. Alright, um, this is guaranteed going to be two separate videos at least. I want to cover a couple things for new people. Then I'll do like a market wrap on what happened today in the market and what's going on with my positions and whatnot. And I'm also going to try to answer a couple of questions I got from um, members. Okay, so if you're new here, and this is a today on, um, I think it was the episode of... Uh, Tasty Trade Best Practices, they went over like a cheat sheet or a checklist. So that's what I want to do first. I want to give you new people a checklist on what I look for. Okay? So if you're really new, um, if, you, if you have some experience, I have two checklists. One, you know, a current one, but I kind of all have it on one place. So there's two places you could look at it. The first place is go to Tasty Trade Newbies. Okay, so if you're really new, and go to the my cheat my basic cheat sheet and general guidelines. This is basically my cheat sheet or your checklist. I've written it all up here from newbies or what we look out for. Okay, and then underneath that, I have also the a vertical spread makes for chart, so you kind of know um, what to look for where, and what it means. Like if you're bullish, if you think the market is going to go up, what can you do? These are the two things you can do if you're bullish. These are the two verticals you can put on if you're bearish. Okay, so that's it's also on that cheat sheet. Underneath that cheat sheet, I have up here updated it August uh, a couple months ago. This is what I've been doing. So here's your basic checklist. You want to look, you want to trade 45 to 56 days to expiration. You're looking for anything with IV rank 50% or greater if it's stock or an IV rank of 35 or greater if it's ETF. You want to sell your golden gecko, one standard deviation out of the money. Okay. You also want to buy your further out two standard deviation puts and calls. After your order is placed, you can place a good to cancel uh, order where you buy it back at 50% of your max profit. If you want to, you can put a one cancels the other order here for a stop where you're buying it back if it gets to what you received in credit. And I have an example right here. I'm not going to read it all to you here. Feel free to go here and look at it. Um, I'm also showing you, I also gave you a link of to my favorite slides on why um, if you look up why, how I came about with this, and a video on the, on um, you know why why you might want to put a stop in, where you collect you're limiting your losses to the credit you received, all right. And then I did a video of everything I'm talking about here in this video right here, okay. So you can go ahead and look at that. Um, if you're um, okay, so. If you're really new, you might want to read up here too. You also want to look for liquidity. Okay, so this is your basic checklist from here down. And then I will show you in Doha how you can see how that how that um how that works. Also, how to check if you're collecting enough premium. Uh, somebody asked me that question under the golden gecko thread here. Um, I think it's a new member RB's right here, finding the expected move and how much to collect. He, I believe, is in Australia. And he cannot, is that what he wrote? Yeah, he is in Australia and I guess he do not, he doesn't have toss there, think or swim, but he does have access to dough. Um, so let me kind of show you, I wrote down right here what you could do. Um, wait, is this right? Uh, whoops, I think I made a mistake here. Let me do this while I'm right here. I got to change this to one point, I think it's 1.125, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I think that's more accurate. Okay, so here's what you do. So how do you find the expected move? First, you go to Doe, look at your SPY, type in SPY here, hit enter, go to strategies. You're gonna click on strangle first. Okay, you want to make sure your days expiration are 45 and one standard deviation away, and you're gonna click go. Okay. Now, first you want to do is you want to find out how much you can sell the at the money strata for. A strata is when um, you're selling both a put and call. At the at the at the money price. So all you do is see where it says with here. Just bring them in, click on this so they're right on top each other. As you can see here, S P is one ninety thirty. So you want these prices to be right on top of each other at that one ninety at that one ninety mark, like right here. Okay. So they're right on top of each other, and they're basically pretty much it. Your area of profit is this green area right here. Okay. Um, as you can see, the IV rank on SPY is 50%. It says here you can collect $7.37 in credit. Okay. Um, we're, and so if you want to 
if you wanna um hold on let me see this okay good if you want to see the uh expected move by this date it well, how much it could move for you take this number right here seven dollars and 37 cents okay and you want to multiply that by one um one point one two five hit enter so you can expect this to move up or down eight dollars and 29 cents within the next you know with within the next 32 days and what you want to do is you want to collect at least 19.8 percent of this so you take that eight point whatever two nine one two five and you multiply that by point one nine eight so that's dollar sixty four so you want to be able to collect at least one dollars and sixty four cents if you do a strangle for that same uh, time period so go to strategies again and click on strangle and just hit go okay and it says you can collect here a dollar thirty four all right if you look on my calculator you want to be a dollar sixty four so it, can we collect enough no does that mean you don't do the trade no it just means that um you want to make sure you have the other things on your side like high IV rank and because IV rank is at fifty percent um, above thirty five percent you know you can still do it you might wanna that's when you also might wanna check your um um, your uh, your cheat sheet there for um, vol volatility adjusted strike you know your favorite slides area but so yeah you can do this right here okay um, so that's one way for you to go now on if you have thinkorswim um, wait I want to make sure this does this mean you can't sell it no all that means is you want to make sure you either go maybe further out or you want to make sure you at least have good IV rank okay so you have IV rank of 50 or more you should be okay with with these as you can see by these dots, I kind of already have these positions on. All right. Now, if you do have access to Thinkorswim, it's a lot easier. Look what you do. I'll clear this. Where's the clear? Uh, they, they revamped this today. Here's a clear button. Boom. All right. So what you do is you go to Do. You go to Strategies again. You go to Strangle, right? These are your default settings right here. Hit Go. As you can see, it's $1.34, right? Go to uh, Thinkorswim. Go to your trade page see this tab where this is trade um, and you want to open up the same expiration date okay so I'll go back to the door and you can see here right November 2014 32 days left for expiration go back to thinkorswim um, as you can see right here November 32 days to expiration and you're looking for the one that says 100 because one contract is equal to 100 shares of stock expand it look over here there's your expected move eight dollars eight point four zero eight go to your calculator Take 8.408, multiply that by um, 0.198, and basically you want to collect $1.67. See, so we're real close, okay? And that's how you do it. And you go to your strangle, and you say, okay, well, I can't collect enough. Can you still do it? Sure, all right? Now, let's say, assume you it, it, they match or it's greater. You can't collect it. From here, to do your golden gecko, go to strategies, go to iron condor now. These are your should be your default settings for Iron Condor. Okay, 84% target out the money. Your width of your strikes, you want five. I'm assuming you have a tasty bait, tasty tribe bites account. If you have a tasty bite size account or small account, you want to keep your width at five. Okay, click on go. What does five mean? The width between here and here is five strikes. Okay. The width between here, your sell strikes, and your buy strikes are five. Now, this is a mini golden gecko. You want to use this if you I want to preserve your buying power. Um, let me show you what I mean. If you click review and send, you will see that I'm tying up. Um, oh, this is wrong. After hours, shoot. Okay, anyway. Um, but if you have more capital, a larger account, a real golden gecko is you take your wing. I mean, you take your, your buy orders, see these green ones, and you want to move them out to this two standard deviation line right here. Okay, so you just roll it out here move this out here okay that's your two standard deviation line so golden gecko is you're selling the one standard deviation out of the money puts and calls see one standard deviation this blue line right here one standard deviation. see this blue line right here you're gonna sell these and you're gonna buy the wings I call it the wings because see look this doesn't this look like a bird this is the body of the bird right here this line right here you're gonna buy the wings see you're gonna buy the wings and you're gonna sell the body okay and I'll zoom in and you can see this green area right here is everything in green is where you make your money. 
So as long as the S&P 500 stays within this green area, you make money. Okay, this position has a 72% chance of turning a profit. You're going to collect 97 cents. Assuming you're assuming um you were able to collect enough, when you do your golden gecko, just collect whatever the mid price is. See, which is mid right here. You want to collect at least 97 cents. If you collect more, that's great. Um, now this is the first time I've seen these settings right here. They change the whole layout of dough, but um basically it's the same, All right? If you want to see the the probability of profit of each specific leg, see this leg button right here icon. Click that and look what happens. See, you have an 84% probability of it staying, uh, you know, above, above this arrow and below this arrow. That that's that green area. Okay, and you can click um, that off again. Let's see what this button does here. Oh, okay, here you can show what it would happen right here. Okay, that's that show button right there. Okay, um, refresh. You can do a custom ad entry. This is time and force day or whatever. Um, here's your. Okay, so pretty much the same. Um, okay, perfect. All right, so that's how, you know, if you're new, I, I just walked you through how, you know, everything you can pretty much do. That's your checklist. You should know these. If you, these are basic, and once you get these done, you can trade anything. Okay, so that's how fast you can do a position. Now, what do you do if you can't collect enough? Does that mean you can't do it? No, of course you can do it. Let me give you an idea. Watch, I'll close this. Go to your grid page right here. Um, click on your filter. Here's hide earnings show everything with IB rank of 50 or higher okay I have I have some time left so see all these oh that do not have earnings so look the first one EWZ 100% IB rank can we trade it let's try well this is just an exercise e EWZ has elections going on this is Brazil I think they don't get over to the end of the month so you might want to wait for elections to do um, okay let's do Chipotle well, Chipo just had earnings but IB rank is still high this will drop tomorrow because it just had earnings last night but anyway you could pick anyone this is just an exercise so let's do um if you guys know Chipotle let's do Chipotle what you want to do is you want to double click on this right choose strategies oh come on I only have two minutes left let's see okay choose strategy let's see go to strangle okay click on go all right it says here you could sell a strangle at thirteen dollars and ten cents. All right, um, let's find out uh, what the expected move. There's two ways to do it. The fast way is right here. Go to Chipotle. What is Chipotle? CMG. Your trade page, and we are going to the. I think we're going to the November expiration. Yep, thirty-two days right here. The expected move is sixty-seven dollars and eleven cents. Okay. So you take, go to your calculator, take uh, sixty-seven dollars and eleven cents, and you want to multiply that by um, 0.198. You want to be able to collect at least thirteen dollars and twenty-eight cents. Can we do it? We're really close. Okay, so perfect. Go ahead and trade this if you want. From there, okay, just go to strategies again. Go to um, Iron Condor. Make sure your settings are right. Click on Go, and then you can go ahead and fill this order at that mid price dollar 46 go ahead and sell it okay if you have a mini account you want these at the five strike wide, five strikes wide if you have more money buy the wings move these out to that two seven deviation line right here it's about two percent probability out of the money it should be right around here as close to it as you can and then go ahead and place your trade now you want to watch out if you see these teardrops that means they're not liquid uh, so you might have a harder time getting filled or getting out of your position so just a heads up on those. If you click on this leg, you can see the percentages. You want this to be close. To, you want to sell as close to 84% out of the money as you can. Okay. And you want to move these out to about 2% if you're doing a, a real golden gecko. Roughly, it should be around 2%. Okay. And that's close enough. Okay. If you do not have, and where's clear? Here's clear. If you don't have access to Thinkorthrim, quickly go to strategies, go to strangle, and then um, click on go and bring these in till they're right on top. Okay, I have 30 seconds left, so they're right on top like that. Okay, and then you multiply that number by 0.125 to get your expected move. So $60, 62.4, 4, 62 is what you can collect. Multiply that by um, 1.125, 1, 1, 62.45, uh, 1.125, and that's how much you should be able to collect. Okay. Um, 1.125 it should be yeah 70 bucks is expected to move real close see and get collect at least 19% of that or 19.8% of that okay 
Um, I'm going to run out of time here, but um, I'll come back with part two.